who owns the robots rules the world, which is that if the, the robot technologies are controlled by a small number of rich people, they are going to be more powerful in our social lives. And if we have a broader ownership of this technology, then the robots can help people get more leisure and, and raise their incomes rather than uh, reduce their incomes. The effect of, of robots on the types of work that people do by uh, combining robots with artificial intelligence, the, the, this robotic revolution affects literally every job uh, and the incomes people will make from their jobs in the, in, the, in, the, in the economy. Every year the robots get better and better because that's what technology is, we're making them more and more e efficient. And their costs of what they do basically goes down. Where there is more robots, the wages of workers, in the United States at least, are lower and there are fewer workers working. So robots really are substituting for people. I'm probably uh, unrealistically optimistic <laughs> in the sense of the, the trend of inequality has gotten bigger and bigger in every country, in the, in the US, in Europe now, in, in, uh, in China, the rich get richer and the normal people, maybe they get a little bit better, maybe they stagnate, but they're falling further behind the, the, the rich. So you don't see any evidence that this trend breaking. The robots are going to, robotization is going to add to this, this trend. And why would I be optimistic? Because I think we have the capabilities of changing the ownership of, 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 of this knowledge asset and make it more public so that uh, workers will have uh, shares in their companies, profit sharing. And I, the people I talk to, this, they don't have very good alternatives to that. You have a universal basic income, that's also possible, but that could be viewed as giving people a certain ownership stake on the whole GDP of the country. And I'm more favorable to having people have an ownership stake in their own companies where they are working. And you probably could combine the two of them. We just have to make sure that people are owners in some way or another. And I think the States is more, uh, because it's economically more advanced, it becomes easier. And the founders of the country believed that people had to own land, which was then point the capital. So today, it's not so hard for the Americans to make this jump of, okay, once we needed land so everybody could participate equally in the society, and now it, it has to be basically business and knowledge capital that we all should have some stake in. We have already 10% of the American workers are in companies that are owned in part by workers. Many American firms pay uh, people by uh, profit sharing and many companies have stock options and things that go not just to the top executives but to a lot of people inside the company. So it's, it's in our culture that we should be owners. Mm -hmm.